good morning welcome back oh, i say good morning it's like two o'clock in the afternoon i'm just getting started here today we're talking trucks all right you all know i have a dirty 2017 Silverado. I like this truck. Now I've always owned Fords and I'm going to tell you I had a 2015 Ford F-150 4x4 and it was black because everything else I own is black except that and I love that truck. The problem is that the transmission went in it, the rear end went in it and the computer was going in it all at the same time. I'm quite sure what that was all about. I always wanted to try a Silverado because I like Chevys. So this time I bought a Silverado. Now I have had this truck for going on about two years now. And I like it. It has more features that you can shake a stick at. As I said, it is dirty. We use this truck. One thing. One thing I didn't want was leather interior. So what did I buy? Leather interior. Now y'all don't yell at me. I told you it was dirty. Here's the problem. Look at this here. You see that? Look at this. That, my friends, is dog hair. Now, you know, guys know we have axle and diesel couple of German Shepherds that we uh, absolutely adore and uh, one day I thought it was a good idea to put them in the back seat and go pick all up from school <laughs> we're gonna go with that's a big fat no because I've tried everything to get this dog hair out of here and it won't come out yeah so we got the odd potato chip I don't ride back here guys Ella does so we're going to blame all this here on Ella because she's not here to defend herself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Let me back up. We bought a treadmill. And with the treadmill, it was for Jen's studio. And with the treadmill come a nice rubber mat. A really nice rubber mat. She didn't need that because we have horse mat on the floor of the studio. So she didn't need the mat. So... I stole it. She didn't know it come with a mat. Nor does she need to know. Anyway, we are going to cut that mat to fit the back here. Now, wonder what all this stuff is. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I've got a toque. I've got some... Looks like uh, Tostitos in case I get stranded somewhere. i got something I can nibble on. This is a go bag. I'll talk more about a go bag later on. But this here is supposed to be in the back. This is a tire inflator. Those over there are binoculars. In case my glasses go out, I can strap those to my head. And I can see where I'm going. So yes, it needs a cleaning. I am going to have my truck detailed. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it or take it and have it done. It's about 125 bucks here in town to have somebody detail your vehicle. For the amount of time it's going to take me, it might be feasible for me to do that. So that may be the route we're going to take. But prior to that, I want to get that rubber mat cut to fit on the floor back here. So should, for whatever reason, I put the dogs back here again. It's protected from the hair. I can just vacuum the hair up. And we're expecting snow in the next couple of days. And of course, we live here in Ontario, so it snows quite frequently. I don't want to mess up my carpet. I don't want to mess up my floor. So that's where I'm going to put it down. Also, let's take it to the back. In the back. Well, there's the mat. Right, there's the mat. That's about a quarter of an inch thick. It's a nice mat. I think it'll fit just nicely once I cut it. Uh, yes, I carry fuel. That's my mom's spare tire. In this box over here, which, again, when I talk about my go bag i'll tell you a little more about this but i also carry all kinds of tools last thing i want to do is get stranded on the side of the road 
with nothing. Job number one right now, I'm gonna put this in the back of my truck, spread it across, see where we're at and where it needs cutting. And uh, obviously it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Not a big deal. All right, now the one drawback to this Silverado versus my F-150 is there is just not a lot of room back here. But again, I don't ride back here, so I don't care. And Ella's small, so she does okay. But I just realized putting this in here, there's no way you're going to get anywhere. I mean, I can't even roll it across here because it's just way too big. I'm going to move the seats up. And we'll see if we get a little bit more room. We'll try and roll this across. And we'll get cutting. And I'm not concerned with cleaning this up right now. I'm more concerned with trying to get this spread out a bit. So I can figure out where I'm at. What I may or may not need. And also... <laughs> Maybe want to get rid of the straw. You big dummy. I'm behind you. No need to turn around. I am going to fit this down here as best I can. There we go. There we go. We got it coming now. Okay. So you can kind of see what, what I'm going for here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one section off here. That's gonna, I got probably 14 inches hanging over the edge out there. So I'm gonna cut this one piece off here, try and get it straightened out. Now you gotta remember there's a hump in the middle of the floor here. Not much, probably about six inches. And we gotta allow for that because once I put some weight on it to get it molded around the hump, I don't want it to come up short on it. Where are you going? You good? I don't want to come up, come up short on the edges. So let me cut this here off and then uh, we'll see what happens. There we go. All right. Once I get this fitted the way I want it, I'll take it out and wash it. Doesn't make any sense for me to leave all this straw in here. And if it does fall off of here while I'm doing this, I'm going to get mad. So you might want to disregard that. Okay. Right, so we are straight across that edge there. I'm going to go to the other side and see what I got. So I think... I can probably cut this edge off of here. Actually, I'm gonna take one more off that side over there. This is a this is a nice edge here, and I'd like to keep that nice edge. I've already cut that side, so no sense having two cut edges. I'm going back over there. All right. So again, I don't want to come up short. So let's just pull it over. Actually, I think that's gonna be perfect. I am just inside over there. And just inside over here. Let's give her a cut. You always want to keep your knife in your pocket here. So when you rub up against your truck, it scratches your truck. Pro tip. Oh, come on now. Straight as you can. All right. So that's two panels cut off of there. Let's see where we're at. I think we're gonna do pretty good there. So that's gonna be tight on this side, right on the edge of the jam. Let's go over here and have a look. I don't think I could have done that better if I tried. That's on the jam too. Okay. So we got that pretty much centered on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting out the seat belts and we're gonna get that tucked up in there. I'm not gonna cut this short. I want this to go up underneath the seats. I got the seat belt cut out. 
I've got it tucked up in here. Now it's covering up the jack and stuff that's in there. I want to try and keep make sure I keep it as straight as I can. One thing left to cut out is here and on the other side. And then I can fold these down up underneath the seat. It looks like dirty. But it looks like I'm going to have to cut it around the tracks too so that I don't bind the seat up. Now, thankfully, this stuff cuts pretty easy. But I don't want it to move, so let's just get her done. So we got this cut around here it goes up under the seat the problem is the track for the seats there so I'm gonna have to cut that track out which is not really a big deal same on this side over here so I might cut this one here out this one here yeah same with it because it's got the cover that comes right over to the side so I might as well just cut them out in the middle right here all right so here's what we got we got it cut around here because it's got to have room for the track to go and same with over here. I thought that maybe that was a potato chip for later, but that's a just a leaf. All right, you see, you see what I mean? So that goes up underneath the seat. The seat's gonna come back. This here all has to get heated up and have some weight put on it. And then that will hold it down and mold up over the seat. So let's go get the other side done. Now this is not held down by anything. So we cut around the track here, around the track there, and same on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the studio and get some weights and put some weights on there. As you see it's bubbled up here. That is an actual hump over there that I got pulled down. So we get the weights on all the sides. Let it sit there for a while. Heat the inside of the truck up a little bit. And that should mold to it. Only thing left to do now is pull this out and get rid of the straw because I'm not quite a farmer yet. And no, we're not uh, running a junkyard. My uh, our stove quit the other day, so we had to get a new one. Now, ideally, minus, what is it now? Minus three, minus four. It's not the time to be doing this, but I wanted to get it done because this stuff is stiff. It cuts okay. So we're gonna get this in the truck. I know it's not perfect, but you have to ask yourself, does it work? So I just put the rest of the stuff in here. Got my flashlight, my go bag, my toque. Don't leave home without it. And my binos in case I lose my glasses. I'm sure you can get these mats pretty much anywhere. Or before I've used the uh, locking mats. The two foot square mats that lock together. I've used those. Those work okay. But I had this. So I figured rather than just throw it away. I might as well use it for something. The, the hair that's on the floor. I can vacuum it out without a problem. Still, it doesn't fix this problem here. But it fixes the floor problem. Oh, let me show you the map for the back. So this is the 
horse mat. You can see it's just about an inch thick. And I've got four pieces this long that I'm going to cut and put in the bed of the truck. Make it a little easier on my knees. Now I really haven't done anything to this truck other than my friends over at Cottingham Tire did put a leveling kit in there for me. Uh, looks like I am in need of tires. That's going to be costly. What about shocks? Uh, still got the factory shocks on here, so the tires are getting a little low. If you all know me by now, I like black. And I don't like chrome. And I got chrome wheels, so that means if I change the tires, I got to change the wheels. We're looking about $2,000 roughly if I want to stock wheel and the dirt track tires. They're like something with a little bit of mud grip. We hunt, we fish. Uh, this truck's been in fields, it's been wherever, but these tires here are not conducive to the outdoor life. Conducive. That's a pretty big word for me. Right, how am I going to squeak that pastor? She's not going to believe that I've always had the wheels and tires, so i, I got to come up with something. You guys let me know down below how I can squeak them wheels and tires, Pastor. I mean, come on, it's a $2,000 purchase. I just don't go out and throw $2,000 and her not know that $2,000 is missing. But it's my truck. Maybe I should paint it black. You think she'll notice? I mean, I can't even roll it across there because it's just way too big. Anyway.